Hello and welcome to Ask the Blowfish, explaining why you can't breed a tiger shark from a tiger and a shark. Okay, our question today comes from Arapaimagigus who asks, where did I put my shoes and why do flying fish feel the need to fly? Well, Arapaima, you left your shoes here. And if you ever want to see them again, then you will place one million pounds in unmarked notes in the location provided below. Don't get up to any funny business, or I'll start sending you bits of the lace in the post. Yeah, don't mess with the blowfish. But for the rest of you guys, we're going to be talking about how flying fish fly. Try saying that three times fast. Well, essentially, if you're a fish and you get caught at the water's surface, you're in big trouble. You can't fly in air unless you're a flying fish, but we're kind of coming to that. So if you're a predator, trapping fish at the surface is a real winner. Check this out. That is bubble netting, and it's something that humpback whales do to catch loads of herring. By trapping the herring at the surface, these guys can get up to a ton of herring a day. That's pretty effective. But the flying fish, well, he's got a trick up his sleeve, or up his fin, hey, hey, bit of a joke there, little joke. Yeah, the dislike button's below, all right. Anyway, the flying fish has super long pectoral fins that act like wings. And because if you look at his tail, you'll see that the bottom fork is elongated. This means that when he breaks the water surface and fins really hard with his tail, by stretching out those pectoral fins, he can glide. Now flying fish have been clocked at gliding for over 40 seconds. I mean, that's a long time. It's about the same time it takes me to eat a foot long sandwich, but that's because I know how to get my feet on. While they're up there, they can cover distances of 50 meters or more. In fact, the record currently stands at 400 meters in a single flight. 400 meters? How long's that? Just ask Mo Farah, he'll tell you. Plus, these things aren't slow. While they're skimming along the waves, they can get up to 40 miles an hour plus. They are shifting. So there you go, Arapaima. Apart from the fact that I own your shoes now, I've explained to you why flying fish fly under their own steam and don't go to the airport like us poor suckers. But for the rest of you guys, if you've got a question, you know what to do. Ask the blowfish. Thanks for watching guys. And don't forget, if you click the button to subscribe, you're gonna get fresh, tasty treats of blowfishy goodness coming straight to your door because we know where you live and we're coming for you. Every last single, well no, we're not, we're not. 